Oi, hello there everyone, how are we doing today? So today I decided to do another Q&A video because, um, why not? I know I already did a Q&A video yesterday, but whatever. It's okay, things will be all fine. But no, I didn't like, I didn't like vlog or anything yesterday, so this is why I like, I'm doing this, so deal with it okay bitches by the way okay it is really late it is really late and I know I could do this in my room but the best lighting in the house right now is the bathroom so there is a toilet behind me bitch look mm hmm yeah do you see that do you see that toilet <laughs> I am a classy bitch I am classy and by the way I'm not wearing a shirt it is laundry night I'm sorry I need clothes for tomorrow I'm wearing a blazer because I thought it looked nice because you know I'm all about that classy life okay yeah Anyways, now I decided to answer some questions because I think you guys don't know me that well. Question number one is how many nicknames do you have? I have a lot of names. I have I have five of them, so let me tell you five of them. I have Bunyan. Bunyan. Um, that's a nickname that one of my friends have called me a long time ago. He also called me Cornhead. I have no idea why. And also, people have called me Larry. And I don't know why they call me Larry, because Larry is my grandpa. So, uh, <laughs> swerve, bitch. My next nickname is Bitch, so <laughs> that makes it a lot easier. And m probably the most popular nickname I have is Laro Pero. I don't know where it came from. I don't know, I don't know where it came from at all. And my, the other popular one is Bear. In fact, there's a rhyme that my family has about that nickname. I'll sing it for you. Lair Bear, Big Fat Bear. Lair Bear, Big Fat Bear. Lair Bear, Big Fat Bear. Voila. Number two question you know is what is the main thing that makes you unique? I can fart on command. Just kidding, I can't fart on command. God, what makes me unique? Jesus, I don't, I have no idea. Um, I'm gonna, oh, okay, I used to play the euphonium in high school. Mm-hmm, the euphonium, motherfuckers. I was dope. You guys like my titties? You can see them a little more in this video, can't you? Okay, let's go to question number three. Ah, do you get mad easily? <laughs> Why the fuck you asking that question, huh? Question four is, what makes you a good person? Nothing. Nothing makes me a good person. I think the last good thing I did was probably give someone a sickness. Yeah, they're gonna miss work for a week. And it's all because of me, aren't I an angel? <laughs> Question number five. When's the last time you got in trouble by your mom or dad or your guardian angel. Um, the last time I got in trouble for doing anything was probably because I was home late and I was drunk and I pooped on myself and I peed everywhere and I was wanting to have sex with my dog. So, yeah. Question number six. What is your most embarrassing moment? Okay, my one most embarrassing moment, the one that I remember, the one that like I really want to show you guys or tell you guys about, um, it's one, I was five years old. Probably seven, probably eight. No, I was probably nine. I'm an embarrassing person, naturally, so it doesn't really matter what I do at nine years old because I did a lot of shit. Uh, <laughs> well, anyway, I went to, uh, to put a long story short, I went to the store without a pants and I didn't know I did. I didn't know I went to the store. Oh my God. There's a totally different story I could tell you. I sharded my pants. I did not fart. I did not shit. I full on sharded my pants, 10 years old, in the middle of Walmart. Like, not even joking. My grandma made me sit in the girl's bathroom, and girl, oh my god, oh my god. They probably thought I was a girl because I have a small dick. I mean, I mean, no, 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 no just kidding. It's not small. What do you do in your car when you're alone? Is question number seven. And that answer is classified. Because I don't masturbate in my car. Mm -mm. No. Okay. I might. I might masturbate in my car a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> no, but usually I just listen to my humps. And I don't. I, 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 no, I don't listen to my humps. I'm just kidding. I met a girl down at the disco. She said, hey, 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 yeah, let's go. I can be your baby. You can be my honey. Let's spend time, not money. And mix your milk with my cocoa pup. Milky, milky cocoa. Mix your milk with my cocoa pup. Milky, milky ride. Milky, milky ride.
I, 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 I can't explain what just happened. Embarrassing. I'm gonna, I'm shaving today, guys. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Does that cover up everything that I need to cover? Because, oh. Ah. Ah. I mean, this could be a new look for me. Do I look better? Hmm. Huh. Huh. This is so weird. Oh, my God. Okay, so question number eight. <laughs> I, I literally just came across this question. Um, question number A is, have you ever shaved before? And the answer is no. I'm a naturally hairless baby and I don't need to shave at all. No, but my body is really weird because I, I, I do have to shave sometimes, but only because there's like one hair on my nipple. That's my shaving. All I have to do is pluck it out and it's gone. Huh. Question number eight. <sighs> when did you graduate high school? Um, I graduated high school in 2012. Mm -hmm. It was a very, it was a very rough period in my life because that was that was that was the year I got raped. You know? No, just kidding. The real one is if a friend is being bullied or harassed by someone, what do you do? That is the real question number eight. And my answer for that is fuck, let him. You know that bitch probably stole five dollars from you. Your best friend probably stole food off your plate and you don't need that kind of negativity in your life, bitch. Cool. Number. Nine. Describe the time you fell in love. And just because of this question, watch this. I'm gonna create a heart right here, right there on my big crusty face. Can you see it? And I don't wanna talk about the last time I fell in love because the last time I fell in love, a lion got broken to pieces and, well, there was a lot of broken hearts. Like this motherfucker, forget about him. Forget about him. I just got shaving cream everywhere, but that's okay. Forget about that story. Never happened. All right, so number 10 is describe something romantic. Like, basically, anything to get you laid, right? I mean, obviously. Put some flowers on the bread. Put some chocolate in the bitch's face. Go feed her some McDonald's for a little bit. No, I'm just kidding. I think, um, instead of just telling you, like, a romantic thing that you can do, I'm gonna tell you what you can do to get me in bed with you because I am easy as fuck. No, just kidding. I'm not easy. I'm super easy. If, 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 okay, you know how easy it is to put a puzzle piece on a table? Just one puzzle piece on a table? Like, simply putting the puzzle piece on a table? That's me, bitch. I don't want to answer that question. I feel like romance is gone. Like, February was so last year. So I think the real question number 10 is, are you going to be subscribing to my channel today? <gasps> did you like that? Did you like what I did there? I did. I certainly did. Oh my god. No, but for real, guys, thank you guys for watching my video. And <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this craziness. I hope you enjoyed this because I don't like the smell of shaving cream and I literally just want to puke right now. So anyway, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy your day, evening, after noon, morning, whatever you're in, because you deserve it. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, comment, make Uncle Jim proud if you're gonna shit on him, and uh, give me a big old kiss, baby, because you deserve it. <sighs> Oi, hello there, everyone. I am Laren Wheeler, and I'm wearing a penis on my head. Wait, what? Hmm? This isn't a penis?